Hi, this is Dan Heisman, Philly Tutor for Chess FM, and this is the Improve Your Chess video series for ICC members. In today's game, we're going to look at a 45-45 game, and it's today's game, it's not so much the game that's special, it's more the questions that the player sending me the game asks. So we're, I printed out his questions, and I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go through the game and look at his questions, because some of them are pretty subtle, and, you know, he's a you know, decent player, he's in the 1600s, and let's, let's see what he says. So he's white and he plays d4, and black plays knight f6. And now he said he intended to play the London system, and the pure way to play the London system here will be to play bishop f4 right away. He plays knight f3 first, and that gives black an opportunity to play something other than, let's say, e6 or g6 or d5, which would allow the London, and black, in fact, plays a Benoni with c5. So his comment is, I was intending to play a London system with bishop f4, this kind of changed my plans a bit. So white plays d5, that's the main idea in the Benoni, get a little space there, and the game proceeds according to book, so to speak, d6, c4. Of course, in this line of the Benoni, we don't have any of those f4 variations, because white has played an early knight f3. Nothing wrong with that, of course. Just makes black's plans a little easier e6, knight c3, pawn takes, pawn takes, g6, e4, bishop g7. All right, so now we've reached one of the main positions in the Benoni. White usually plays either bishop e2 or bishop d3, but there are lines where he plays h3 first as well, and those would be his main choices. Um, so here he chooses a pretty rare move, and of course if you don't know what you're doing, you should be playing slowly. So here we know white doesn't know this line because he didn't play a very booky move, so we should see his clock drop way down. That's good time management if you don't know what you're doing in the opening and all of a sudden you're out of your book. And he plays there, and he takes a minute 40 for that move. So that's actually pretty reasonable to play bishop f4, and that looks like the right kind of move because, you know, he can threaten that pawn, and maybe after he castles or even before, he might be able to play knight b5. So black plays a6. Now... Normally, when black plays a6 in a Benoni, you don't even look. You just play a4 to stop b5. But here, black's supposed to castle first. Now, obviously, white hasn't played a book move. He's, he's played bishop f4, and I guess black was worried that if he castles, white can play knight b5. But that really wasn't much of a problem. If black castles and white plays knight to b5, I mean, I'm not giving this to the computer, but at the very least, black can just play knight e8, and that may look awkward, but actually, not only is he threatening bishop takes b2, but he's, he's going to expand with a6 and b5 as well. So this position is perfectly good for black. Um, so he plays a6, and now white plays a very strange move. I thought he was going to play a4, but he played a move that the computer said is perfectly good. He plays queen a4 check, and now, of course, black can't play b5 because white will just take it because the a pawn is pinned to the rook, sneaky pin. So black should play here, I think the computer says, knight bd7 to continue to guard his b7 pawn. He plays bishop to d7, and he forces the queen to go to b3, but now white has a double threat. He's threatening bishop takes d6, and he's threatening queen takes b7, so there's only one move that black can play to stop both of these, and that's to play bishop c8, and now white has basically kind of won a free tempo for developing the queen. So that's why queen a4 check was okay, and especially looks good against bishop d7. All right, and now black is threatening to play b5, so white should stop it, and he plays a4, which is the best move. And in some lines, you can even play a5 and think about playing knight a4, knight b6. You know, so, uh, in fact, you could also play a5 and then play knight f2 to c4 to, to b6 so that the rook can continue to guard the a pawn. So there's some positional threats here. All right. And white has played the opening very well, and he has a nice bigger than normal advantage, thanks to black not castling and playing a6. Doesn't take